Builders, we're back in the workshop and today we're going to be working on the Speedway bike. So we've uh, got some new bits arrived which I'll show you and then we'll start stripping it down and getting on some of the new goodies for a bit of a new look for 2024. Right, so here's the bike as it sits um, and this is how it came uh, basically back from the Isle of Wight. So uh, all in one piece, it's had a full strip, uh, rebuild, clean up, etc. So it's uh, already a rock and roll again for the uh, 2024 season. But I just really wanted to uh, kind of update the looks of it a bit. Um, it's it's uh, got a, a bit of a kind of retro feel to the bike with the covers and the uh, uh, plastics on it, etc. So uh, I've been buying some bits, which I'll show you in just a sec. So here's the, one of the first purchases I've made. So these are a set of uh, Alfie Botel's uh, old covers, which I bought off Jim West, and he was a really great guy to deal with. Got it off uh, one of the Facebook Speedway groups and uh, bought a new set of covers. So the kind of red and grey will match the uh, kind of red and grey of the Speedway bike a bit, rather than having a new set of covers made at sort of 300 odd quid. And I also bought this off Jim as well, which is one of the um, covers for the uh, front of the pipe there. And um, what I might do is this here, it's got quite a lot of uh, shell rash on it. I might get some resin and basically go over this and then sand it down and uh, get it shiny again. So we'll uh, crack on with that. And then uh, I saw my pal, Mark Woods, um, sell, selling off some uh, carbon bits uh, for the Speedway bikes and grab these. So in here we've got the uh, wheel disc and the front mug guard and a rear mug guard. They've got a few marks on them and they've been used, etc. but they're perfectly good for me. And the fact they've got a few marks on them, you know, I'm not gonna be too upset when I uh, go down the road on it. So um, yeah, we'll give these a quick polish up and then start taking the bike to bits and get them all uh, fitted up. And I'll sort of show you as I go through the process really and then I'll give it the bike a bit of a fresher look for the season ahead. Right, so here's all my uh, carbon fibre bits all out. So uh, we'll just grab the uh, super resin polish and uh, we'll give everything a polish up ahead of putting on the bike and see if we can get it looking a bit uh, smarter than it is. I've just had a quick go at this top piece here and that's uh, that's come up quite nicely. So we'll uh, get the rest of it done and then the front guard and the spoiler. And like I say, we'll get some uh, resin on that and uh, do a bit of wet sanding, etc. So uh, yeah, let's get those polished up ahead of starting to take the bike apart. So there we go. So with a bit of elbow grease, uh, we've got them looking nice and shiny now. So we'll uh, go and uh, start taking the bike to bits. Right, so that's the back wheel out. And I think this will be a nice, quick, easy one. And we'll uh, whop this one on the wheel now. There, how cool does that look? So let's... Uh, Get the rear guard off now, and that'll be the back end done. All right, there's the uh, rear guard off the bike, and uh, we're looking a bit naked. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention was I uh, got one of these um, off uh, John Carpenter Speedway, so I've been buying lots of second-hand goodies. Um, look, that had that on at the Isle of Wight, so that's uh, obviously needed, but uh, more carbon fibre, who doesn't love it? So uh, we'll go and grab the uh, carbon one now which is just here. God, the weight difference is incredible between the two. Um, so yeah, let's uh, whack that on the bike now. There we are, how cool does that look? So let's uh, bang the uh, wheel back in and then we'll call the, uh, that the back end done. And then we'll uh, get the front guard on and then uh, the new covers. That's looking uh, very smart indeed. So that's the uh, old guard off. And the new one on, it's a bit of a different shape than the old one. It looks quite uh, quite aggressive and cool, a bit motocrossy style. Anyway, I think looking at the uh, the bolt hole spacings, it looks about right. So uh, we'll just try it on the bike now. Hopefully it bolts up. If not, we'll uh, make some more holes in it and uh, put these uh, little rubber washers back on. And uh, that'll be all the uh, carbon fibre stuff on it. Well, apart from that, but uh, that needs a bit of work first. So we'll crack on. So there we go, that's that all bolted up. I had to space it slightly differently because it was uh, just catching um, on here and we didn't have a gap. So uh, I've just uh, shimmed it slightly differently so we've got clearance there so it won't catch on the uh, forks when they're going up and down. All right, so let's uh, drag it outside and uh, put the covers on and show you the finished article. So here we are, the finished article. How cool does that look? Oh, it looks really smart, really modernized the bike up. Having not a lot of money, um, just to let you know the costs of it all, I got the covers for £35 posted from Jim. So big thank you, Jim, for that. It was a cracking deal. I got all the carbon fibre parts from one of Mark's uh, 
clearance sales um, at Edge Composites and got all of the uh, carbon fibre parts for about £27, I think. So we be really fresh in the bike up for a lot, a lot of money. Oh, and the front um, guard there on the exhaust was 15 quid. So uh, had some right bargains there. So they're out there if you keep looking for them. But uh, yeah, it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm so chuffed with this. So just a quick look at the front end and the carbon fibre goodness. And obviously down here, we've got that uh, exhaust guard on as well. And then moving around to the back. So no, that looks absolutely brilliant. I'm so chuffed with that. Can't wait to go and uh, have a skid on it when the weather improves. So uh, there you go. So that concludes the video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.